What is up everybody? John Grimsmo here at the Buffalo Airport flying to Chicago for the IMTS trade show. It's the one of the biggest machine tool shows in the world, certainly the biggest in North America. I've never been to it. I've been to the Canadian version which is apparently a lot smaller. I cannot wait to go. There's going to be an insane amount of cool stuff to check out and people to meet. So this video is chronicling my first time to IMTS and hopefully many other people's first time if I can find enough people to interview. I'm really excited to be at this show. I've known about it for many, many years, probably eight years now, and this is the first chance I've had to go. I really want to thank my two sponsors, Elliot Matsura of Canada and Autodesk as well for making this trip possible for me, hooking me up and uh, giving me an in. So they have convinced me to, Elliot Matsura specifically has convinced me to make this video first time interview as many people as I can and it'll be great because it'll get all you guys who can't come who weren't able to come who haven't come yet but really want to come a chance a, a real sneak peek view at what it's like to be a first timer and the wows and the I, I can't wait okay let's go So I've now registered and I'm an hour early here at 8am, they don't open until 9. It's pretty quiet here, mostly just exhibitors coming in early and setting up already. Just walking in, I already had one guy be like, hey John, I've been watching you since you got that grizzly lathe. How's that Nakamura going? The shop looks awesome. So that's cool, it's super cool. So I was able to find an open door and I snuck in kind of early. So my first stop is Autodesk booth. The guys were showing me. Check this thing out. This is fully 3D printed and just the top spin surface. Crazy stuff. New Fusion t-shirts. I'm getting one of these. Met a bunch of the uh, Autodesk Fusion staff, which is excellent. Good contacts to have. And um, this is a good first stop for the show. place is gigantic and there are five of these buildings and each one has several layers and I have no idea how I'm gonna see it as much as I want to see. Here at the Vapor Tech booth learning all about DLC coding. Now we are starting to DLC code our knives so I'm, I've got a lot of questions on how to make this the most perfect process possible and uh, it's excellent to, to look at other DLC zirconium coatings and uh, get a real perspective of how to do it best. And I just ran into the two people that I rode on the shuttle from the airport to the hotel in yesterday. They saw me and they're like, hey, you, I remember you. We were talking yesterday. Um, I, I think I've converted them to be knife people now, so that's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm just taking it all in. The big booths are really cool and fancy. The small booths are really cool. You get to like one-on-one -on -one with the guy. Uh, I talked to that DLC guy for like 30 minutes and I answered all my questions. It was really fantastic. So RJ from Carbide Labs yeah. found me and uh, we've been chatting up. This is your first time here? Yes, first time. My first time here. What do you expect to, to do here? Like, what are you here for? Uh, this is a wonderland of CNC machines, so I'm just here to see all this magical awesomeness. That's about it. That's why you're here too, man. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> so. so basically, you're a super nerd that yes. is here to, to yeah. geek out. Exactly. That, that's my answer. Yeah, I like yeah, that. My, my company paid me to be here, so <laughs> I'm going to enjoy every every second of it. Absolutely. <laughs> Is there anything in specific you want to get out of this? Uh, I'm looking for automation technologies. Um, like specifically what? Because I just saw a booth that has a lot of that. Or, uh, uh, it's more like robotics, PLC, uh, industrial machinery yeah. kind of stuff. So that's so, yeah. that's the one. Just past software. Okay. So make sure to hit that up later. Okay. So now we're in the additive manufacturing section, 3D printers, metal, plastic, everything. It is enormous. Like this, this whole thing, it was 3D printed. The Hyundai Wea booth with what's your name? Rock Elbow from Indiana. Uh, also a first time to IMTS, except he's an exhibitor. What do you think? 
Uh, it's crazy, man. A lot of people here, um, a lot of machines here. Uh, it's uh, neat to see people from all over the world coming in and checking out these machines. There he is. All right. Good to see you. Good to see you. We're getting a first time to IMTS. You're in it too. Um, <laughs> exhibitor side of you, goofball side of you. I get really awkward on camera. <laughs> Wow. It's actually funny, I got here at 9.30, like everything was going great, and then they didn't open this room until 10. Right. So I was kind of bummed because I didn't have time to go to like Autodesk or somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, but it's fine, I just kind of chill and then been just, just taking it in. Nice. Yeah. And so we, John and I got to know each other because we both use um, lower end, very inexpensive um, Asian built machines, okay. you know, horse and a half, Bridgeport type, right. type capabilities. And he has already made the leap that I'm in the market now to go Get some beer. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, how awesome is this? I know it's so cool. It's look at the size of this place. What is mind blowing is like Okuma and Mori. You look at these machines, you know, that are. I mean, you, you have 50 grand just rigging stuff in here. And like, this is it. This and there's is like good 20 machines here. Yeah. So, first time, what, what do you tell me something? You've been here for like three hours. Uh, I held a chip that had weight to it. <laughs> like like, like I your, could, I your could make a part down. out of the chip. Yeah. <laughs> there was Holy like six cow. pivot pins inside this chip. Oh my goodness. It, no, it's crazy. Uh, it makes me feel, I mean, I love it, but it makes you feel very um, self-conscious because like, I'm probably the least talented machine here. And that's okay. No, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this, is like this is like, this is like, it's easy to feel primo. like yeah, yeah. There's so much cool stuff going on. Best of, best of the best, best in the world is yeah. here. And we get to soak it in. That's that's why yeah. I'm here. I'm here to learn. I'm here to network. But it is and, cool. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's it. It is cool because like you'll see a machine and you'll be like, okay, I see how they're like kind of rigging that to look really good and like whether it's a material they're cutting or yeah, yeah. just how it's set up. Like okay, which is kind of cool. Like you're smart enough to just think about like, is this a good for what I actually want to do with it? Right. Yeah. There's so much stuff to look at that uh, you you have to turn away. Like you just have to keep walking. No, I just walked in and. It, I haven't stopped. I just keep bouncing around. Yeah. I've seen a couple people, which is cool. Yeah. Um, All right, we're at the Brother booth. I'm a huge fan of the Brother Speedio series. We're going, we're going. Here. All right, here's the SX-1000. Two of them. Three of them. No, this is 700. So the 700 is normal size. The 1000 is a 40 by 20 table. This one looks like it's got a fourth on it. Going to these shows, you have to ask questions. If you have questions, you have to ask them. Here, John's like grilling the guy real good. Like, I want to push the buttons. Tell me, tell me what to do. Um, it's great. This one actually has a robotic arm on the side. So we just spent the past I don't know, 45 minutes playing in the brother booth. I've never actually seen a brother up close in person. Uh, it's been fantastic to actually get a, a real, real, real good look at them. Um, getting them to run parts, not just do air cutting. We're like, no, 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 put, put real material in there. I want to see this thing make chips. They are crazy productive machines. They're stupid fast. They're, uh, they got some good balls to them. Um, it's been really fun. So I came yesterday, Eric came today. Mm -hmm. So you saw the Autodesk booth and that's about it? Yeah, I just walked in and texted you. And right, so first impression. It's big. Blade Show is nothing. No, Blade Show is not even yeah. one of these buildings. No. There's five buildings. I know, and there's four floors on no. each building. I think I've done three floors, like three different building floors so far, and I'm not even done. I gotta say, this booth has done a fantastic job of displaying the capabilities of their machine on a micro scale. Those tanks, insane. Even these molds that you can see, they put a lighted magnifying glass. Like, really, really well done. Fall in love and tear it down as soon as we wake up. Promise you the world tonight, I show you what I've got. Your body speaks my language and you read me like a book. Another first time we're at IMTS. What do you think? It's it's Nirvana. <laughs> it's, it's Nirvana. I mean, there's. I spent 20 minutes talking to a guy about air gauging. Yeah. And he's just, just happy as a plant. I know. It's, I've done that too. You start looking at the time, like I've only seen like four things. Yeah. 
Yeah, totally worth it though. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Uh, anything in specific you want to see? Well, the things to see are, are Wilman Macrodell and Bumotech. What is make, that? They make uh, mill turn machines that make Swiss watch parts. Okay. So awesome. here's the small one. So you're not going to be able to move them. Right. But obviously the, the, serrations. the machine has enough the power to... Right. So inside are these size springs. It's a 95 durometer urethane spring. That's a spring? Yes. It's a compression spring. Huh. Um, so we were just at the Burr King uh, deeper and grinding booth talking with the guy and he was asking about our tumbler and he's like is it one of those with the shaft in the middle with the eccentric weight and I'm like yeah and it snapped in half and he goes oh I saw one of those on YouTube that snapped in half oh that was you guys <laughs> yeah so our, yeah. our videos make the rounds I've had several cam companies like guys working at cam companies come up and talk to us yeah watch all your videos man so it's uh, six o'clock almost something like that I don't know when the show actually closes. I thought it was I five. It was five, yeah. But yeah. So tonight there's a Haas slash Autodesk event. So we're gonna check it out. I can actually show you guys his face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we're here at the Autodesk slash Haas uh, after hours party event. Um, having a good time. Finally get to meet Rob Lockwood. All right, we just got into the hotel room. It is 1.18 p.m. I think I've been on my feet the entire day since 8 a.m except for a quick lunch and a decent length dinner. Uh, just walking around. Yeah, Chicago's cool. Yeah, it was a very cool city. Yeah. We walked back from wherever we were. Yeah, and, 20 uh, minute 20 walk. 20-minute walk, beautiful city. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Big, mm -hmm. big day, a lot of cool people, a lot of cool stuff. And um, hard to process it all. There's just so much. So I need sleepy time. And uh, Saunders and I decided to do a 7.30 a.m. breakfast tomorrow because we're early birds except we kind of forgot about the uh I'm not gonna be there <laughs> kind of forgot about the super exhausting day and then staying up late and then not waking up or anyway it's gonna be great mm -hmm. so. at least he doesn't drink so there's no excuses <laughs> like he has to be able to wake up at 7.30 no problem yeah totally yeah. So. so that'll be good uh that was day one at IMTS Good morning, everybody. All right, John, what are we doing? We are doing, I don't even know, meet, meet and greet? <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, this is awesome. I'm Joe. I'm Joe. Good to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you. Scott, Good meet you, Scott. Scott. Congratulations on your new toy. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your new yeah, baby. We got a pretty good turnout. Maybe yeah. a dozen, dozen plus guys. Which one is the more expensive? <laughs> in a long this guy. Wicked new t-shirt. Courtesy of this guy. All right, so it is now my day two at the show. It's when? Wednesday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that you It's Wednesday. I never know what day it is. Um, yeah, so this is the tooling and work holding room. I'm very excited to be in this room. Uh, I, I have a feeling we're gonna spend a lot of time here and we gotta watch our time a lot. Um, but yeah, we just got done with the breakfast and had an awesome time. Now let's get our geek on. Let's get our geek on. I feel like I wanna do more work holding and less tooling. Here we're at the Mighty Byte booth. Um, excellent displays, big fan of Mighty Bytes. All right, the, uh, we're at the machine tool side doesn't open for another two more minutes. The crowd out here is pretty crazy. Looks like a lot of very excited people to get in. It's excellent. So I'm assuming that every single booth is hitting cycle start right about now as the crowd pours in. Whoa, this thing is cooking. Holy cow. It's actually washing the part afterwards. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I, I forget, but I think I mentioned before, um, John is somewhat seriously in the market for a machine. Yes. And oh, yeah. might buy today. So we're taking him around. I'm introducing him to the people that I know from my experience buying machines. And uh, 
It's so crazy. I, I was explaining to my wife last night, like all the things that happened yesterday, and John and I actually filmed something that'll probably go on my channel. I think there's a chance we don't post it, but uh, yeah. my wife is like, I get it. Like you're ready for it, and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. It's just you can't get paralyzed by the decision, and there's so many factors. Yeah. There's so many factors. Do you do bare minimum? Do you do everything you can? Do you go as reach as far? As, like we kind of reached as far as we could for to do reason. what we did. Oh, for a very reason. specific. Right. Very specific reason. You need more broad spectrum. I don't know. It could go either way. I think you'll be happy with either decision as long as you tell your brain that I'm happy with it. Well, we were just looking at a master, not a machine I'm really looking at, and we were looking at the toolpath finish, and I'm like, John, this is what I want. You know, yeah. Is a machine that starts with an H and ends with Oz going to have that? And John's like, it will. You maybe not go as fast, maybe right. make sure, I mean, like any machine, the tram is in. Right. And the right tooling, wiper inserts and all that, like, mm -hmm. it's a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Tooling is, yeah, right. Tooling is really important. Right. Speaking of which, I want to get back to the tooling booth. We had a joke yesterday that it was like, there was no meeting with the, from a company that was like, we should bring that machine to IMTS, and they're like, no, it's too big. <laughs> no, they, they're not afraid to bring these giant machines. About 1 p.m. on Wednesday. Very steady stream, stream of people. What did they project? Like 130,000 people? Yeah. It's crazy. I wanted to know. You, so you walk, I've seen you walk the show. Yeah, I've been which, most which, of it. What's the craziest, most innovative thing you've seen here yet? Some of the machines and some of the tooling. I haven't really done tooling yet, but we really need to do that. Yeah. Um, obviously, the big five-axis machines. Mind blowing. Um, have you seen this over here? There is a no. robot that is actually, the robot is doing aerospace machining. So everybody thinks of machining often, you know, like in your right, studio right. you've got the little box or the boxes get bigger and bigger and you can in some cases have machines making machines. But in this case, they've actually got what a lot of people think of as like a Fanec or a Cooper robot. Right. And it's actually got a machine tool in it. And where this is where it starts to get really interesting is you can, yes, you can put like a cutting tool on the end of it, and cut and, and remove material. But now you start to think about that you've got in some of the other booths, this arm, this robot arm, is almost like an inkjet printer. Right. So you can actually, you know, oh, I'm gonna 3D print, add it to manufacture something here, and then it's gonna come over here and it's gonna, go, and it's gonna change print change heads, heads and, then, and it's gonna print a totally different material. Right. And then it can change heads again, and now it's gonna stick it a cutting tool and trim it and make the finish work. So you do mind-boggling right. what could happen. And all you need is the arm and the head. You don't need a whole enclosure. You don't need rigid casting. And, and then you think about the possibility that you could take something like that and stick it on the floor, have a concrete pad, and 3D print an entire infrastructure up for nothing. Right. I got to check that out. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Wow. So it's funny, Saunders and I, we've been playing phone tag for the past uh, half hour or so, texting, calling, like trying to catch each other. I had the phone in my hand and I didn't even hear it ring. Mm -hmm. Then I call him back and as it's ringing, I look up and he's right in front of me <laughs> in this giant place. That was really funny, we laughed at that. There are some insane finishes here. These are all milled finishes. Yeah, it's old gold meal. Like, look, at, look at how the light reflects off of this. I hope the camera is picking this up. <laughs> This is Elmax, so your blade guys know no Elmax steel. It's already five o'clock. I'm not sure exactly if the show closes at five or at six. Yesterday we were here till six before they kicked us out. But I see a lot of booths closing already. Uh, yeah, this is the end of our show then. Mm -hmm. Grade nine? Yeah. Why do you buy grade nine? It's tubes. Yeah. Oh, tubes. Buying tubes so that it's it's less machine time basically. Yeah. Fair it enough. looks exactly the same. I didn't realize that it would anodize differently, but it does. Yeah. Just enough that it's not a uh, Like, can you still get the colors? They're just different yeah. spots. Right, right, right. So like, they're a little darker on the grade five. So we just ran into uh, Will from Tactile Turn, great. who makes the pens that we choose to carry. I've got his yeah. fountain pen. And uh, I just uh, dropped off these new bolt action. So this one's full zirconium, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so I think it's just gonna kind of catch on fire and sparkle like a fireworks. 
So yeah, it's fun to get to meet him in person. We've been talking for about a year or two, and uh, yeah, big fan, good friends. So day two is now finished. We are headed to uh, a cruise with Elliot Matsura. Um, apparently there's going to be 400 customers there, customers of Elliot Matsura, or Matsura US and Canada. And that's where we got the Nakamura from, so we are invited to that. So that's going to be really cool. Um, be nice to rub elbows with uh, shop owners, top, the top shop owners from North America, so that'll be really cool. The f feels kind of weird that the show's over for me. But on the other hand, I realize I'm not actually in the market for anything. Uh, it was more yeah. just research. Like, right. Looking and then, at what's next. Yeah, looking at what's next, not what's now. Um, I think I'm pretty well stocked up for what, what we have now, what we need. Except for the odd, like, a couple hundred bucks here and there kind of things. <laughs> Nothing major, except Inside for the, tum the tumblers yeah. were cool to see. It's just cool to see everything. Everything that was here. I'm really, really glad we went. You glad you came? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I posted this video on Instagram and my wife commented and said, don't you dare come home with that in your suitcase. Here with David Bishop, the president of Mighty Bite. Big fan of Mighty Bite. We stopped by their booth earlier. So you guys got one of the decks of this boat. Right. And we're going on the next boat over there. Yep. That's oh. where we started, and this is where you're going to be in the next couple years. There you go. Okay, okay. two years. Yes. Anyway, we got to take off. Okay. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure. We'll keep in touch. Okay, enjoy. Take care. Bye, guys. Okay. Nakamura family right here. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. The, yeah. You got them, then we'll, we'll I got them. All we need is this guy, too. I could stay awake just to hear you pleading. Fun cruise. That was fun. It was nice. Cool. Gotta get my uh, land legs back. Yeah. Or stop drinking beer. <laughs> so we're walking back, and I look over and I see this face, and I'm like, I know that face. And I thought the same thing. Yes. I was like, Hey, you look really familiar. They're like a triple take at each other. <laughs> Jason Harrelson makes amazing trumpets. Thank you. Um, Denver, Colorado. Yes. Instagram Harrelson trumpets. Yes. I believe, and. Um, yeah, I've been following you for a long time. This is the first time we actually met. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because it actually feels like we've known each other a little right. bit. We've yeah. talked to each other and written comments. Right, and, and we've been at the show all week and I see your post and I'm like, I know he's here. Right, right. And the fact that we were on the same boat. He was just in the upper level or lower? I was in the lower, yeah. Lower. And we and didn't it, even know. That's so funny. But I'm glad we get to hang out and talk. <laughs> yeah. It is now Thursday morning. We're on the bus to the IMTS building. We've got Ben from Free Lux here. Up, guys? Kurt Chan from Auto Dads. I thought this bus was going to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick rundown. What are we doing today? You know, it's awesome because we have some famous people in town. We call them our YouTube evangelists. I like to call one famous one that's holding the camera. But we're actually going to go through and talk about where we're going with our HSM products. From Inventor to the HSM Works to even Fusion 360. So I think we got a great day in store to share the knowledge, to share the vision of where we're moving the product. Uh, hopefully we give people a sneak peek of maybe four backs or five backs. But uh, I think uh, a lot in store with the famous man here. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Perfect. I can't wait to weigh in with uh, the whole development team of Autodesk. This guy too, I know he's got a lot of things he wants uh, changed, and it's just nice that our opinions get heard. Super excited. Good morning. Is this film or video? This is a video. Good morning? Yeah. So, hi folks. Welcome to Josh Grimm's Mode. Welcome to another episode of uh, Knife NYC making, Grimm's Knife Mode. Making NYC. Yeah, so this is the room we're going to dissect Fusion. This is pretty amazing. We're at the Autodesk rooftop, Rob Lockwood, okay. Larissa from Edge Factor, <laughs> Haas guys, Titan is in the corner over there. Say hi. This is a cool place to be.
It's the titanium two foot long bottle opener. Monkey like shiny world domination IMTS 2016. So exhausted. It's midnight Thursday. Cubs game is over. Just, I'm done. I gotta be out the door at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Super awesome. IMTS is awesome. We do the same thing at Blade Show where we just hardly sleep and hustle all the time. You're on all the time. And I'm not complaining in the slightest. It's just completely draining, but that's that's the experience. Um, connections, networking, opportunities coming up. I mean, the world is our oyster and the future is bright. That's, that's what's up. So I'm going to go pass out. Erica's already flown home. And uh, tomorrow morning I fly home. So this is probably the end of this video. Later.